guys, welcome to day 60. 15 games in a row they've won, super happy about them. Coilers go. Notice someone noticed the, the flag yesterday. So that's cool. I just done bulk legs and oh my god. It is such a hard workout. I felt like I was running, seriously. So many, you're basically doing squats and lunges with weights for like 45 minutes or 40 minutes. It's, oh, man, weigh in this morning. Super happy about that. We've lost, I think it was 1.6 pounds from last week. Can't remember. I'll put it here. But more importantly, I've lost more than 15 pounds now. So that makes me really happy, like extremely happy. Okay, not much more to add. Like I said, bulk legs was amazing. Like it was just a good workout. Kind of like I love it and I hate it at the same time. I know how good it is for me, but it's extremely hard. Oh my God. So doing that five times during this block is gonna be a big challenge. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for now. And we'll see you tomorrow for day 61, because today was day 60. I hope I said that at the beginning of the video. I'm pretty sure I did. P90X Bowling here for day 61. Ah, just got done with uh, Body Beast Bulk Arms. That was a great workout. I love the bulk series, the bulk phase. I mean, the bulk phase is amazing, which is part of the uh, Body Beast. What I like about the bulk phase is you have a lot of progressive sets. So basically what that means is you have a lightweight, a medium weight, and a heavy weight. You do all three without any breaks. Then you take a break, and then you switch it. Then you do your heavy weight, your medium weight, and your light weight. So it's light, medium, heavy, 90 second break, then heavy, medium, light. So there's a lot of stuff like that, and that just kills you, man. It destroys you. You have that for your legs, you have that for your back, your shoulders, your arms, oh my god, chest. It's it's cool. It's really fun, you get a good workout too. And you have something that's called a force set, which basically means you have the you're holding a weight weights in your 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 hands. So let's say if you're holding like a 25 pound and you're doing some bicep curls. Well, you got to do five, and then you got to keep the weight in your hands. Take like a 10 second break, do five more, 10 second break, five more, and you have to keep the weights in your hands. I'll film it next week. Definitely film it next week so you guys can see. All in all, just a great workout today. Feels good to be alive today. Like every day. Tonight's going to be a fun night. My friend, my, uh, my son has a yeah, bowling event it's called a Bulletin, so they're raising money for the kids, for the banquet and stuff, which is awesome. So my brother and his wife and my niece are all coming down to bowl, so that's going to be cool. So doing that tonight. I'm not going to lie, tonight you know what we're having for dinner? Golden Arches, baby. Golden Arches. If you don't know what golden arches mean, look it up, buttercup. That's going to be it for today, guys. We're going to probably make this a three-day video again. So tomorrow I'll be recording for day 62. And we have a special workout plan for tomorrow. So more details on that tomorrow. See you guys in the next one. It takes 66 days to form a habit and change your life. This guy said it, man. 66 days. To form a habit and change your life. Welcome to my transformation journey, guys. Mind and body transformation. And guess what? We're day 62. So in four days, I'll be home free, right? Ironically, in four days, it's going to be 66 days. And it's going to be about a third of my journey because I'm on a 200-day transformation. <laughs> I just watched that video and that was pretty cool. He's basically taking a stranger that won, I guess, some sort of competition on his channel and he wants to transform him in 66 days. So that's 
pretty freaking cool. I wish it would have picked me. Actually, it's from not too far away from where I am, I guess. Five hours away. Same province. Or a state, you Americans. But I find that very interesting that it takes 66 days for habits to form. And I was just thinking, this is, this is weird, man. I was just thinking about that this morning and how good I feel, how amazing I feel. And I'm on day 62. That means that I'm believing in the process. I'm doing my thing. And I'm living. I had McDonald's for lunch yesterday. That's what Golden Arches is, by the way. I had some popcorn in the evening. I had fun at the bowling alley. It's all about balance. Something I haven't shared is usually what I do. I know that my weigh-in's on Friday. So usually from like Tuesday to Friday, I get very good. Like I really watch what I eat and I, I go the extra mile. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, a little more leeway, especially on Friday and Saturday. That's where I get to live a little more. That's where I probably go over my calories a bit. But tracking your calories would lose it. Hey, my brother-in-law, just he's doing a weight loss journey himself. He's at 45 pounds lost since August. I'm at 15 pounds. Also, also, today... January 28th marks the two month of when I decided to start my journey. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. November 28th is when I started my journey. Now, that's when I said in 200 days, it's my birthday. June 14th, I'll be 48 years old and I'm going to feel much better. Because if I'm only, I'm at about what, 30% there? Probably about 30% there. Let's figure this out on the calculator, shall we? So, 62 days. Let's divide that by 200. 31%. I'm actually good in math. A lot of people say, math, bring, bring on the math. So, I'm 31% done my journey. And I'm feeling friggin' fantastic. And do you know what we're doing today? We're going to switch it up. Beast Cardio, Sagi Kalev, which is the uh, the trainer for Body Beast, he's all about weightlifting. But I'm not sure if I like his cardio workout that much. And I've heard this online as well. So I'm going to switch it up a bit. I'm going to move to someone from the same company, Body, formerly known as Beach Body. Sean T, he's the cardio king. He is the cardio king. If you don't know who Shanti is, he's the one who brought us insanity. Insanity basically came after P90X. He had P90X and then insanity was the next big thing. It's all about cardio. It's basically hit on steroids. So we're going to do one of those workouts today. I'm not, don't think I'm going to film it because it's cardio, not only filming cardio, but I'm going to check in with you guys at the end. I'm hoping that I'm sweating like a fucking pig, man. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to sweat. And if I did that, I'll be happy. So in about half an hour, I will be hitting that workout. By the way, I think I'm doing... What am I doing? Cardio and cardio abs. That's what... I think I'm going to do today. All right, man. See you guys after that. Mission accomplished. I did that workout. <clears throat> that was crazy. The pure cardio, I'll admit, I didn't do it all. I did about 70% of it. Basically, what I did is I was aiming really high, but I know it's a good workout. So I wanted to see how much I could do. But that was crazy. It was a Crazy good workout. I'd say out of 38 minutes, I probably did about 25. Oh my God. Really sweaty, really, really warm. And then it was cardio abs. That was crazy too. That was just insane. So yeah, that was good. My body was saying no. 
but my heart was saying yes. So that's why I pushed through as much as I can for the workout. I'll probably do it again next week, next Sunday. Because it's a seven day workout, right? Bulk phase, you work out for six days and you take a day off. I think my day off is going to be on Wednesday. So, yeah, oh man. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Sorry if this was a boring video, a lot of me talking, but hey, that's what the journey is, counting my, keeping myself accountable, enjoying the ride. All right, I'll catch with you guys later.